Let's go home, buddy. Come on. It's me. Mr. NB, or you might know me as my chosen name, Miche. I know what you're thinking. It's been a while. Oh, you're probably wondering why I have a fuzzy little caterpillar on my face. Or why do you sound more uh, hollowed out? <laughs> if you're new to my channel and you've never seen me before, and you have no idea who I am, that's great. I love that. I love a fresh start. <laughs> what was it? Melancholy Holly. Melancholy Holly. Yeah, because sometimes he just looks so sad. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard people call him Solo because he's so low to the ground. Oh, <laughs> I thought that he could solo. <laughs> I'm never going to get anything done. Okay, I think we're going to have to go because we keep getting interrupted by little old ladies with their dogs and. I'm getting bit by mosquitoes and Solo is getting more and more hangry and indignant by the minute. Here you guys, there's a freaking cardinal in this tree right now. Holy, do you see it? It's right there in the middle. It's right there. Hell yeah, nature. I'm excited about the cardinal because I'm in Arizona and this is like its farthest western range so yeah it's kind of a big deal over here okay yeah i think we're gonna have to finish this up at home so i'll see you guys there Greetings, Earthlings. Welcome to my home, which for the time being is not inside of a van. So I'm gonna be filming the rest of this video from the comfort of my own home. I wanted to share with you all that I'll be changing things up a little bit and transitioning this YouTube channel into a new direction. On that note, speaking of transitioning, there's been a lot of changes. I'll just come right out and say it. I am transgender. I just wanted to acknowledge that because a lot of my YouTube followers have only seen me pre-T or pre-transition. I don't intend to go into things related to my gender in this video. I at least wanted to acknowledge why I look and sound a little bit different. But I will share that my new channel's name is directly related to this. I chose the name Mr. Envy because I'm a non-binary trans guy. Non-binary trans guy. <laughs> oh my god. I love how I said I wasn't going to talk about my gender and now <laughs> here we are. We'll do it live! I've seen the term non-binary shortened to just NB, the letters NB, and I've also seen it spelled NB, E-N-B-Y, which is really cute and like gives a little bit of character. Um, I love it. So as a non-binary trans masculine person, I thought the name Mr. NB was perfect. It also frees up my channel to, you know, talk about whatever I want and not just limit me to um, van life. I've also heard a phrase for gender neutral on TikTok. Someone said the phrase, Jendi Nooch. And I, and I absolutely loved that so much. Jendi Nooch. Jendi Nooch. Jendi Nooch. Jendi Nooch. I really hope it catches on. I really do. 
Okay, let's stay focused. So in this video, I want to share a little bit about where I've been, what I'm doing right now, and where I'm going with this channel and with life in general. So I've been in conservation and the environmental work movement for about 10 years, doing wildlife biology work and everything from like working with endangered species to restoration work and education as well. I even ended up like in the Pacific Northwest doing some software development and that was interesting, but I'm not sure if that's for me. But what I'm most excited by are the ways that I've been involved in like unpaid community organizing work, um, like outside of nonprofits or mission-driven organizations. You might call this activism. Activism is super important for advancing social movements and racial equity. And I've learned from a lot of people in activist spaces. I think if you're able to find work within an institution that aligns with your values and your purpose, preferably one that pays a living wage so you can take care of yourself and your loved ones. I love you, Bubby. You're just really expensive. So yeah, finding work that aligns with your values and pays a living wage is like really good. That's kind of the dream. But I don't think that working for the government or a nonprofit or a mission-driven organization is gonna be enough to change the world. I once heard a social worker say, the best social workers work for free. And you don't have to be like yelling in the streets and fighting cops or burning down buildings to be an activist. That stuff can be kind of fun, but also uh, kind of traumatizing. There are many, many roles that people can do to further social and environmental justice movements, which to me are interconnected. Although I will say something about the, you know, seemingly rampant destruction that I've seen and how activists are often demonized in the media. Look, sometimes when something is really broken and corrupt, you have to disrupt and cause a little chaos, okay? There's a role for everyone. So I just had a lot of experiences learning from people in the communities that I was involved with and I think I learned a lot about myself and also practice being more generous and more compassionate. You don't have to be that smart either. Just show up and support each other. Do the work. One of my favorite things I ever heard an activist say was, I'm just a dumb bitch who cares a lot. And I love that so much because honestly, I feel like I'm kind of a dumb bitch sometimes. So right now I'm getting clear about my direction and setting the intentions for the future of this channel. My goal is to find that balance between getting my needs met and working towards goals that align with my values and my purpose. This channel will be a place for me to share my unique perspective. I embody a lot of unique identities. And I'm like a minority within minorities within a minority. So I'm no stranger to adversity. I'm honestly tired of adversity. Like, I'm not here to fight. I'm trying to live a gentle life, you know? I'm just trying to have a good time. And then lastly, the direction where I'm going. I hate when people ask, where do you see yourself in five years? Like, I don't know. I have no idea where I'm gonna be in five years. But I hope I can bring you along on the journey and we can find out together. I know I'd like to be independent Maybe run my own business someday. Maybe I'll open up a cool cafe or start like a, a travel agency or something. I don't know. The possibil- The papa bibbies The papa bibbies are endless. I still have my camper van, by the way, and I still use it for road trips and camping adventures and grocery runs. <laughs> but I think I might get a motorcycle soon. Or an e-bike. Yeah, that might be better. Because gas is expensive. The next few videos I'm gonna release will likely be about van life, though. The next video, I'm gonna talk about how my friend and I built uh, lithium ion phosphate battery storage from scratch, basically. I mean, it was like super cool cyberpunk post apocalyptic vibes. I don't know, I, I loved it, it was great. 
and I also like upgraded my solar panel system. So yeah, I'll probably like kind of always allude to van life or I might touch on it, but it's not the center of my universe anymore. I do intend to transition into other topics that are important to me. So that's it. I'm excited to kick this off again and I'm excited that you're still gonna join me for the journey. I have a lot of things that I wanna talk about and cover and boy, it is, uh, having been off YouTube and video recording for like six years, being on camera is, uh, it's like learning to ride a bicycle again, but the bicycle is in your mind. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.